Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let's pray together. So I declare, let's pray for healing first. God sent somebody to pray for me. So I want to pray for you as well for healing because I felt so good after that prayer. I declare when there is demonic witchcraft here on this channel right now, they have to leave now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the enemy that is trying to interfere this encounter with God between me and the viewers in the name of Jesus. I release the power of God now to heal everyone watching. Be healed, I pray. You are healed by the wounds of Christ Jesus for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Just receive it in faith. I release the same anointing that Christ released to me, to the viewer. To activate the gift of healing to the viewer by the wounds of Christ for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Jesus, for your healing. Jesus, I pray that the power of God will touch everybody who is watching and that you will get all the testimonies as a comment in the comment section. If you felt any sensation right now, if God spoke to you something, if you cried, something left you, use this as a testimony for God's glory. Let Jesus' name be glorified by this prayer of healing. I pray that every bone, everything that ever hurt you in your body be healed in the name of Jesus. The power of God is touching you right now. Fill the viewer with your love, joy, hope, faith, and peace, and blessings, and hope. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you, God, that the power of healing will touch everybody right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Let's praise Jesus together. And we praise you and we thank you, Jesus, for all things belong to you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Jesus. Let's be not ashamed of the power of God, of, the, of Jesus' name. Go ahead and tell all your friends and family what God has done for you, no matter what it was. Even if it was four years ago, keep repeating it. Tell people, start with family and friends. When they are in the same situation, just tell them. Take them where they are right now in this difficult situation and have compassion on them. Go with them, walk with them and tell them what Jesus has done for you in the same situation. Don't overload them with the information because you know Christ better than them. Just tell them step by step. Listen, God loves you. Just pray. Just start talking to him. Tell them this way. You, you don't need to... to Throw scripture and scripture upon them. No, lead them slowly to Christ with love and compassion. Do things for them with love without receiving anything back. Jesus will see it and Jesus will touch them where they are right now. Sometimes it takes forever, but don't give up. Okay, if they, there will gonna be a time they will listen. The heart will be softer and then you will teach them the gospel of Christ Jesus. God bless you guys and um, tell me in the comment section if you got healed, if you felt any sensation. Let's uh, pray together for healing, uh, for the promises of Jesus. And um, I want to tell you that last time someone prayed for me uh, with a Zoom call. And I don't, I didn't know this girl, but um, she did an amazing job. I think she got a ministry. And um, I felt like my heart was squeezing and my, I was crying. And I felt, literally, I felt God around me. And I want to give the same to you guys. Maybe I cannot do it the same way she did it because she was praying like a warrior. But... I have to start somewhere, right? And you have to start somewhere, right? Everybody's a baby in Christ in the beginning. So, God bless you guys. And God set me free from something. I don't know what it was, but I felt better after this prayer. God bless you and have an amazing day.